Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So guys, this is week one assignment of the course, The Joy of Computing Using Python. So guys, for the past five years, we have been providing solutions for thousands of students through this NPTEL solutions. So guys, I will try to upload all the solutions of every assignment. So in order, I want to get more support from you guys so i need more encouragement from you so that comes when you subscribe our channel so please subscribe our channel and definitely like the video guys so then only our videos will reach every student who are in the need of these answers so definitely subscribe our channel like this video and equally please share that within your whatsapp college student groups so that every student every friend of you can be able to note those solutions so because everyone will have their more works so may, they may not be able to concentrate on this so we are providing solutions so these are the most probable solutions guys and if there are any changes that come to my notice definitely i will update that in the comment section and you can also parallelly update that so i think most of the solutions are correct so let's see let's see the first question of this week one assignment so first question which blocks can be used to move the cat so for first question the, there are multiple solutions walk move teleport and glide so all these are the probable solutions for first question guys now let's move on to the second question second one which set of blocks moves the cat 40 steps and then points down so for second question So the probable answer that I have got is second option guys. Move 40 steps and next point in di direction 180. Right? So second option is the probable solution for second question. Now let's move on to the third one. Third question guys. So guys, one small request. So please watch the video till the end. Don't skip the video guys. Because if I make any changes in between the questions, you may be able to miss that. So don't miss any solution guys. Any change solution as well. So do watch full video guys. And please share this with your friends and classmates. And definitely like the video. And please share this with your friends and classmates through WhatsApp student groups. Third question. What does the cat say here? So initially, we have set the variable minum to 7 like like uh, likewise uh, my number is equal to 7 so repeat means it's a loop guys so 7 times it will be repeated in that loop there will be 3 blocks so for third question I have got the probable answer as third option guys says the number 7 for 1 second then says numbers from 6 to 1 1 by 1 for 1 second each right so here the number will be decreased by one so my num minus one right my number minus one so the number will be decreased right so mark third option as the probable solution for third question now let's move on to the fourth question guys fourth question from the previous question, what is the value of my number variable after the loop ends? So after the loop ends, so for fourth question, I have got the answer as fourth option that is zero guys. Because if you see, finally the value of this my, my number will be one and in the final uh, rotation, 1 minus 1 will become 0. So finally, the value will become 0. Next, fifth question. Let answer for previous question be stored in variable x. What does the cat say after the execution of the loop? So, so they have given this one, right? So scratch oh, it's after the execution of the loop, right? So for fifth question, I have got the answer as second option. Is, that is 
5. So mark second option 5 as the probable solution for fifth question. Now let's move on to the sixth one. Which of the following data types is primarily used for storing a sequence of characters in most programming languages? So for sixth question, so here you can see, right? Sequence of characters, that means combination of letters is nothing but a word. Word in, in word we call that in programming language as a with string data type. So it is string. So mark option C as the probable solution for sixth question. Now let's move on to the seventh one. Seventh question, which of the following statements best describes why loops are commonly used? So for seventh question, I have got the answer as just by seeing itself, you can tell why we, why we use loops. So loops allow you to execute a block of code repeatedly. So this word is very, very important. So this word defines the whole meaning of the sentence, right? So repeatedly without having to write it multiple times. So it helps in efficiency as well. So second option is the probable solution for seventh question. No, so now let's move on to the eighth one. Eighth question. Suppose you have an arithmetic expression involving addition, subtraction, multiplication and exponentiation. Which statement is true about instructing a compiler to evaluate it? So for eighth question. The probable solution is third option. These expressions can be evaluated using built-in operations or libraries. Third option. Next, ninth question, guys. So third option is the probable solution for eighth question. Ninth one. Guys, if you find if, uh, there should be any changes, if, if it comes to your notice, definitely please update that in the comment section, guys, so that we will try to work on it and we can give the final solution to our subscriber family. So I think most of the solutions are 100% correct guys. So if there are any missed rare errors, if you get it, please uh, shout out in the comment section. So I will give a glance at it. So ninth question, in which of the following code blocks calculation of the square distance between the two points, 15 comma 25 and 20 comma 19 is accomplished, right? So this is not a uh, meaning. So if you see here, 15 comma 25 15 comma 25 so this is x x guys this is y point you know that right so there are two points right so i'm giving x1 and y1 so similarly 20 comma 19 x2 comma y2 so what is the square distance x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square likewise 20 minus 15 square in, uh, plus uh, the higher number is 25 right? so 25 minus 19 square so if you see the first option x2 minus x1 into x2 minus x1 that means x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so this is the correct option please so they here they have set x1 as 15 correct only y1 as 25 here you can see x1 15 y1 25 x2 20 and y to 19 so all these are matching in the other option it is not matching so what is the answer first option i have already looked at the remaining two options as well but they don't satisfy the condition only this one next moving on to the final solution of 10th question guys. final solution of this assignment of week one that is 10th and final question guys what task the does the block below accomplish so for 10th and final question, I have got the answer as first option. So guys, these are the solutions for week one assignment of the course joy of competing using the joy of competing using Python. So guys, hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share this with your friends and classmates case. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video. So I want to keep on uploading the course for every assignment guys, and I am uploading more courses as well. So please stay tuned to our channel guys. So that's it guys. I need your support. So please share this with your friends and classmates. Definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates and definitely subscribe to the channel. So goodbye guys.